In the 1970s, a manga writer named Go Nagai created one of the very first super robot mangas, known as Mazinger Z. While it wasn't the first one, it was certainly the trope codifier, bringing many of the tropes we expect from super robot shows today. It has spawned multiple anime adaptations, sequels, and even video games. We're not going to talk about the original series today, though. No, we're going to talk about the relatively obscure spin-off from the 90s dubbed by ADV films, Mazen Kaiser. First, some backstory. In one of the many Super Robot War games, there was an upgrade available for Mazinger Z called Mazen Kaiser, which was one of the most powerful mechs in the game. It quickly became sort of an assembled dark horse, to the point where Go Nagai decided to bring it to canon, thereby creating the anime we're about to review. The basic plot of this iteration of Mazinger is that after a fierce battle against the mechanical monsters created by Dr. Hell, our hero, Koji Kaluga, was forced to abandon Mazinger Z since it was destroyed in the fight. However, his hover builder brought him towards a secret laboratory where his grandfather, Juzo Kabuto, had created, in his own words, a machine that has the power of both a god and a devil, named Mazen Kaiser. And so, along with his girlfriend Sayaka, bowling sidekick Boz Bora, and Professor Yumi, he fights Dr. Helm and his evil minions to save the world. The animation is excellent, the music extremely memorable especially the song that plays when Mazen Kaiser appears. The English dub. Oh, the English dub is amazing. The actors do really good jobs portraying their respective characters, hamming it up all the way and making the show a delight to watch. Especially John Paul Shefford as Dr. Hell. Great Mazinger and Mazinger Z. Without defeating them, there will be no victory. My loyal servants, make no delay in your attack! Though so Robert Newell does pretty well for himself too as Koji. Alright now, Baron Ashura! It's about time you backed way off! Ready! On to the fight! The anime isn't really a masterpiece, it's actually kind of, well, generic in a way. However, it captures the spirit of the original manga very well. It makes for a good jumping on point for people who want to see more of Mazinger Z. So in the end, Mazen Kaiser is a fun and engaging anime with awesome robot action. If you're looking for something fun and distracting, Mazen Kaiser is your bet. It's pretty short too, only around 6 to 7 episodes so it won't take too long to finish it either. So until next time, see ya.